If you want to be able to play Xbox games on your PC, then let's show you how the ZMU works. Now, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to check us out on eBay at GameXTC. You'll get valuable information on leveling up your video game hardware and software. The first thing you want to do is head over to ZMU's website. The link's in the description. As I'm running this on Windows, I'm going to click the Download Windows option. You then want to click Download and Required Files. You can either scroll to the bottom of the page or click the table of contents on the right hand side and select hard disk image. You'll then need to download the pre-formatted Xbox hard disk image. Once downloaded, you should have two files on your desktop or in your download folder. But for this to work, we do need a third file and this is the BIOS. Unfortunately, I can't share the link to the BIOS, but if you do a Google search and search for Xbox 4627 BIOS, you should be able to find it. Your downloaded BIOS folder should also include a file called MCPX 1.0. The next thing you want to do is unzip your emulator. You select Extract 2 and then you can delete the zipped folder. In case you're struggling to find an application to do so, I would suggest 7-Zip. The link's in the description. Once you've completed these actions, you want to drag your hard disk folder and your BIOS folder into your unzipped emulator folder. You now open your folder and for the Xbox BIOS file, you select Extract 2 and you can then delete the zipped folder. As for the Xbox HDD file, you select Extract here and then again, you can delete the zipped folder. We can now run the emulator by selecting Zemu. When doing so, you may receive a Windows protected your PC pop-up. As we've downloaded the application from a trusted source, click more info and then run anyway. The emulator will now load and you may or may not be faced with the settings UI. If not, click machine and then settings. The first changes we want to make are to do with the system. We want to change the MCPX boot ROM to the MCPX 1.0 file. We want to change the flash ROM BIOS to the Xbox 4627 file. And we also want to change the hard disk to the Xbox HDD file. As the initial setup is now complete, let's go through the other options. Under general, we do have a few options. And to be fair, none of which that we need to amend. Input is for our controller. And once you connect an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, it automatically detects it and also maps the buttons. So pretty straightforward. As you can see in the top right hand of the screen, we have a few options under display, which can be used to improve your interface, including screen size. You have the option of changing your audio in terms of output. And then finally, we have our network, snapshots, and about, which you don't really need to amend. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna make my way back to display, change the full screen to enabled, and also enable the full screen on startup. To load your game, you then click machine, load disk, select your game, and then exit from the application. Yeah, I know, sounds a bit crazy, but every time you load a new game, you always need to exit and then restart. Well guys, I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please leave us a like or a subscribe, or even both. And if you do have any comments, please feel free to reach out to us, and as always, we're more than happy to help. Till next time, catch you later.